Russian Blue Cat vs. Ragdoll Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Russian Blue's elegant yet muscular body led one cat judge to proclaim him the Doberman Pincher of Cats. He has what's called a semi-foreign body type, meaning it is moderate in shape, falling somewhere between the short, compact body of breeds such as Persians and the sleek angles of Oriental breeds such as the Siamese. The Cat Fanciers Association breed standard for the Russian Blue calls for him to have a head that is a smooth, medium-sized wedge shape with a blunt muzzle. The broad wedge of the head and its flat skull are often described as cobra-like, although that is much too dangerous a description for this sweet-natured cat. Regal is perhaps a better term. Large ears are wide at the base with pointed tips, the interior lined with thin, translucent skin, and rounded vivid green eyes are set wide apart. Ragdolls stand out for their large size, semi-long coat in a pointed pattern, and sparkling blue eyes. They are among the largest of the domesticated cats, with some males weighing at 20 pounds or more. A ragdoll has a light-colored body with a darker face, legs, tail and ears. He comes in three patterns, midded and bicolor, both of which have white and color point, which has no white. Ragdolls don't reach their full size and coat development until they are three to four years old. The Cat Fanciers Association breed standard says the ragdoll should have a large, broad head and a modified wedge shape. All sides of the head should be of equal length and the muzzle should be gently rounded. The eyes are described as vivid blue ovals. The Russian Blue has a reputation as a gentle, quiet cat, somewhat shy, but don't get the wrong idea. This cat may have a reserved nature, but he loves to play and enjoys jumping or climbing to high places where he can study people and situations at his leisure before making up his mind about whether he wants to get involved. Guests will not receive his immediate attention and may never see him unless he decides they are worthy of his notice, but toward family members, especially his favored person, he is ever loyal, following them through the house and even riding on a shoulder. The Russian Blue is a sensitive cat who doesn't like to be ignored and will be hurt if he doesn't receive the same amount of affection he gives. Lack of attention can cause him to become anxious or fearful. While the Russian Blue loves your company, he is capable of entertaining himself during the day while you are at work. Unlike some active, intelligent breeds, he is not destructive but moves through the house with the lithe grace of a Russian ballerina. When you are at home, his subtle sense of humor and manual dexterity will never fail to entertain. Just make sure you laugh with him not at him. He has a strong sense of self-worth and doesn't like being made fun of. This is a cat who does best in a quiet, stable environment. He doesn't like change, and it's especially important to him that meals arrive on time. Count on him to be a faithful alarm clock in the morning, not so you don't miss work but so he doesn't miss a meal. If you take the time to develop a relationship with a Russian Blue, your reward will be a deep bond with this loving cat. Unlike many cats, ragdolls are notable for collapsing into the arms of anyone who holds them, even if they are cradled on their back. They love their people, greeting them at the door, following them around the house, and leaping into a lap or snuggling in bed whenever given the chance. They often learn to come when called or to retrieve toys that are thrown for them. The word most often used to describe them is docile, but that doesn't mean they are inactive. They like to play with toys and enter into any family activities. With positive reinforcement in the form of praise and food rewards when they do something you like, ragdolls learn quickly and can pick up tricks as well as good behaviors such as using a scratching post. In a small, sweet voice, they remind you of mealtime or ask for petting but are not excessively vocal. Ragdolls have nice manners and are easy to live with. You will find a ragdoll on your sofa or bed, but generally not much higher than that. He prefers to stay on the same level with his people rather than the highest point in a room. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The Russian Blue's dense coat should be combed twice a week to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath when the cat is shedding will help to remove excess hair more quickly. A ragdoll's moderately long fur has little undercoat, which means it is less likely to mat and shed, but that doesn't mean the cats need no grooming. Comb it twice a week with a stainless steel comb to remove dead hair that can cause tangles. Be sure to comb the fur on the legs thoroughly, especially where the leg meets the body, where mats are most likely to occur. A rubber curry brush will smooth the fur after you comb it and remove any remaining loose hairs. If you are gentle and don't pull their hair, ragdolls will love the attention they receive from you during grooming time. Note that seasonal changes as well as hormonal fluctuations in unaltered cats can affect the length of the coat. The coat will be at its peak in winter. 
Ragdolls that have been spayed or neutered will usually have a lush coat year-round because they lack the hormonal fluctuations that occur in unaltered cats. Check the tail for bits of poop stuck to the fur and clean it off with a baby wipe. Bathe a ragdoll as needed, which can range from every few weeks to every few months. If his coat feels greasy or his fur looks stringy, he needs a bath. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep the coat clean as well. It's a good idea to keep a them as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Russian Blues have a tolerant nature toward children who treat them kindly and respectfully. They will even put up with the clumsy pats given by toddlers, as if they recognize that no harm is meant, and if necessary they will walk away or climb out of reach to escape being bonked on the head. That said, the patient and gentle Russian Blue should always be protected from rough treatment, so always supervise very young children when they want to pet the cat. The Russian Blue is also accepting of other animals, including dogs, as long as they aren't chased or menaced by them. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. The laid-back ragdoll is perfectly suited to family life. He rarely extends his claws when playing, and he usually doesn't mind playing dress-up, riding in a baby buggy or being a guest at a tea party. Because of their large size, males are an especially good choice for families with children. Of course, you should always supervise young children to make sure they don't torment the cat. And with a cat this size, it's essential to teach children how to support the cat, with one arm beneath the front legs and one beneath the hind legs. Never hold a ragdoll with the hind end hanging down. He is happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.